Welcome to this short video looking at how we can investigate crater size. So of course this video will look at how we can go and investigate how the height that a mass is dropped from affects the size of the crater it makes. So let's have a quick look at some of the equipment we can use. So we'll need to use a ruler, so we're going to use the ruler to measure the diameter of the uh, crater and the height that the mass is dropped from in millimetres. We're going to use a 300 gram mass, that's the mass that we're going to drop. We're going to use a tray of sand, so the tray of sand is what the mass is going to hit and where the crater is going to be formed. And we'll use a clamp sand in order to hold the ruler in place to make sure that it's staying at the same height from the sand each time in order for this to act as our control variable. So a control variable is any variable which does not change during the experiment. The dependent variable is the variable that we are going to measure a response to the independent variable. A hypothesis is a prediction on whether the independent variable will have an effect on the dependent variable. An independent variable is a variable that we are changing. An anomaly is a result that does not fit the pattern. A correlation is the relationship between two variables. An error is a measure of the difference between the measured and the calculated value and the true value. And precision and accuracy are often used interchangeably, but in science they have different meanings. So measurements that are close to the known value are said to be accurate, whereas measurements that are close to each other are said to be precise. Now that we've had a look at different variables and things, we can go and look at how we carry out the investigation. So remember, when you put in method together, it needs to be detailed. So we can investigate the effect of crater size when dropped from different heights in the following way. So we'll need to just have a quick look at some of the equipment that we'll need. So a clamp sand, a ruler, a tray of sand and a mass. Right, we go and we set up the equipment as shown below. If you're going to do it, you could use a 300 gram line mass. Start off by raising it 20 centimetres above the tray, making sure that you measure it with the ruler. Right, then you release the mass, let it hit the sand, then carefully remove it and measure the diameter of the crater. You might well say you want to measure it in millimetres just to make it a bit more precise. Then repeat from the same height another three times so you have three results that you can go and take a mean average from. And then carry out the same experiment from heights of 40, 60, 80 and 100 centimetres, then plot your results on a graph. So now that we've looked at how to carry out the investigation, there are just a few last things to think about. So there are a few questions that you should ask yourself when completing your method. So what thing should you do first? Is there something confusing you? And if there is, where could you look for some help? Could you explain your method to somebody else? So does it make sense? Could you have used more scientific terms within your method? And if you need help, do you know where to look for it? Have you double checked what you need to include? 
and have you had a think through how you could possibly make your method better right that's it for now thanks for watching and i hope this has been helpful